Uh, all right, it's 8 6. It's another solemn day in Lower Marion Township after a firefighter was killed when a suspected drunk driver ran him down and others on the side of the Schuylkill Expressway. 49-year-old Tom Royds was killed on I-76 just before 3.30 Saturday morning while responding to an earlier accident. Two other firefighters and a state trooper at the scene were seriously injured. Well, loved ones and fellow first responders lined a route yesterday as a procession escorted his body through the community. Um, and it's a community that he faithfully served. They drove over to a nearby funeral home. And as you know, earlier this month, that was three weeks ago, another Montgomery County firefighter, 35-year-old uh, Sean DeMonk, um, was killed while fighting a big house fire in Wynwood. Well, Chief uh, Chaz Garvey is back with us. Chief, thank you for coming in again from the Lower Marion Fire Department. Uh, I cannot believe we have we're, that we're doing this again. Um, before we go too much farther here, t tell us about Tom. What was he like? Uh, Tom, Tom was a great guy. Uh, you know, we played softball against each other for years at different stations. He was just a big, big ball of fun. I mean, he, he always had good things to say, and um, you know, loved, loved what he was doing. So you know, it was real easy, real easy guy to get along with. And we read that he always had a smile on his face, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. All the time. I, I've never seen him without one. But do you have kids? Did he have children? He did. He has uh, three children, two sons and a daughter. Um, oh, God. A brother and a sister as well. Um, what happened? It was like in the middle of the night? It was approximately 3.30 in the morning. Uh, there was a... Uh, Pennsylvania State Trooper had pulled over, pulled over a, uh, or pulled up to an accident. Mm -hmm. um, we provide blocking for them to protect them from these kinds of situations, um, ironically. And uh, as we, you know, we, we blocked the scene. Um, my understanding is the driver drove around the truck up on the shoulder and uh, hit the three firefighters. Um, and a trooper. Killing Tom and. Yeah. And, and the trooper as well, he, he sustained injuries. Uh, I know he's been released. Um, my other two guys are still in the hospital. Gosh. And it's, I mean, of course, you guys put your lives in line for the community um, at, every day and every time you're called out. But just something like this, or like you mentioned, the fact that it was set up to protect that right. area so you guys could do your job. And still, it, this something like this happens. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, my understanding is, is they were, you know, preparing to get ready to leave. Um, so some of the apparatus had left, and uh, you, you know they they were get, getting ready to head out, and uh, this driver went around went around the apparatus. And, uh, yeah, what have you, the, 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 Chief? What have you found over the years? It seems like when I was younger, people would pull over when they heard a siren, you know, for the ambulance or fire truck or police car. What's it like today? It, it's. You know, it's funny you say that because uh, Pennsylvania came out with the new law, the uh, move over, slow down. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we go up to the expressway, I-476, several times, and people just fly by us. They, they, don't, they don't follow the law. I mean, uh, responding to calls, is like you said, the, you hear a siren, you pull over and stop. It, it just isn't happening. And, it's not. You know, I guess some of it is the way they build, build cars to keep sound out, maybe, but... Uh, I can't believe all of it is. And, no. and they, people just got to slow down. And yeah. the fact that this new move over law just went into effect only a few months ago. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's unbelievable. And I think the original accident was involved a drunk driver. And then this woman was drunk. She must have been blindly drunk. So, I mean, a law isn't going to help yeah. or, you know, protect against something like that. But how is the department doing? I know we, we just spoke with you, like we mentioned. Um, so to have another loss like this, how are you we're guys struggling. doing? Yeah. We're struggling. We're struggling. Um, you know, this is, uh, Tom was working at Belmont Hills that evening, uh, filling in a vacation shift, but he worked full-time over at the Union Fire Association in Val Kinwood. Uh, so, you know, both of those companies are doing well. Um, Gladwin Fire Company was also up there to help with the blocking. Uh, so, you know, we have... Three fire, three out of our seven fire companies here have been you know, 
uh, dramatically affected by this whole thing. And, uh, we're, you know, we're struggling. Yeah. I understand that Tom uh, will be laid to rest on Thursday. Um, no, it's going to be Saturday. Oh, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Public viewing. Okay. Chief, thank you. Yes, thank you. We're sure thinking thing. of you guys. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. My gosh. All right, we'll, we'll be right back.